heroes from the fantastic world of Decania. In this content, I will show you the new kitchen crafting in detail. We will see all the available recipes, where to recover the ingredients and the recycling of food. Furthermore, we evaluate whether completing the daily challenges to obtain the 100 cooking coins is convenient. First, you need to know that to complete the daily kitchen challenges, we need to buy kitchen keys. And to complete the three challenges, we need 65 kitchen keys. In the Hagger Stove Caves, we can recover the ingredients. As you can see from the map, we have five positions where we have the fruit tree, the vegetable garden, small kitchen chest, medium kitchen chest, and finally large kitchen chest. From the fruit tree, which in exchange for two kitchen keys, will give you from a minimum of one to a maximum of 10 quantities of mango and pineapple. In the garden, in exchange for one kitchen key, we get from a minimum of one to a maximum of ten quantities of tomatoes and carrots. From the small kitchen chest, in exchange for ten kitchen keys, we get from one to a maximum of five quantities of fish. From the medium kitchen chest, in exchange for 50 kitchen keys, we get from 10 to a maximum of 13 quantities of beef. From the large kitchen chest, in exchange for 100 kitchen keys, we get 10 lobsters. We return to the area dedicated to kitchen crafting in Kings Hill. And from the NPC Dante de Sidis, we can obtain all the recipes by exchanging them with the kitchen coins obtained by completing all the daily challenges.
Other ingredients necessary to craft some recipes can be purchased from the NPC Freya Elise in exchange for gold or andonant. The three most elaborate recipes, such as fish fingers and ketchup, barbecue beef and sea and mountains, will only be used to be recycled in exchange for kitchen coins from the NPC Stellan Caprice in the food recycling section. Well, dear heroes, before saying goodbye, I'll try to answer the question. Is it worth completing daily challenges to get 100 kitchen coins? I think accumulating this kitchen currency is definitely a good thing, because we don't yet know what it will allow us to buy in the future. What the dedicated shop offers us is not so attractive in my opinion. There are the little troublemaker pets, which will certainly help new players and veterans to complete the collection due to their bonuses but the possibility of being able to upgrade them is not active until the next Ghost Party event. But the most poorly thought out question for me is that in any case to collect 100 kitchen coins every day, you have to spend 6k in Andermatt to purchase the 65 kitchen keys necessary to complete the three dedicated daily challenges. This is just my opinion and I don't want to influence anyone and I invite you to share your thoughts about this kitchen crafting system in the comments. If you like the proposed content, let me know with a like. And if you want to support the channel, subscribe and tick the bell to stay connected and not miss future content. And thanks for watching. I wish you peace and serenity. Bye bye. <laughs>